Welcome to NK Telco Sports. We are here at Bakken's High School to bring you high school boys basketball action between the Fort Laramie Redskins taking on the Bakken's Trojans. Tonight's game is sponsored by Minster Bank, Sweeterman Pharmacy, Keyhole Pizza, New Knoxville Supply, Minster Dental Care, Hometown Opportunity, Francis Furniture, Wilson Health, Precision Strip, Winners Meets, NK Telco, NKT.TV, BowlerStore.com, Carriage Works, Cy Sweeterman, Fowler's TV, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, PSG Automotive Outfitters, and First National Bank. Thanks and welcome to Bakken's High School. My name is Greg Burning, my partner tonight, Dave Helmstetter. Dave, let's first talk about the visiting team, the Fort Laramie Redskins. They come in with a 14-7 record after defeating uh, Fairlawn last week, 55-39. to Yep, Fort Laramie has won 11 of their last 14 games, playing some solid basketball. You take a look at their season, and there's four losses there by only 15 points. And then the other thing is, tonight's clash between these two teams, it's interesting to note the motivation factor because Fort Laramie lost a heartbreaker on a last second shot at home against these same Trojans. That's right, the Trojans you speak of are 11 and nine on the season, coached by uh, Coach Sean Powell. They are uh, coming in off of a win after a big victory over Waynesville Goshen. They scored 96 points, and in today's basketball world, that's a lot of points. So Coach Powell has this team clicking on offense, and they're coming down the stretch run. They're 11 and nine. There's at least three games left. Can they have that winning season in Coach Powell's first year at the helm? So there's a lot of importance for, uh, for Botkins as they move towards tournament. This game, and of course, Another game coming up, uh, well, Saturday night against Perry, where Coach Powell coached for four seasons. Should be a good one here tonight from Bakken's, where it is senior night. We will take a quick break, be back with the starting lineups and the opening tip. You're watching High School Basketball on NK Telco Sports. Headquarters. Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Welcome back to Bakken's High School as we get set for the starting lineups. First for the visiting Fort Laramie Redskins, coached by Corey Britton. Number 21, senior guard Jake Rotterman. Number 23, six foot one inch guard Carter Mesher. Number 33, senior, six foot one inch guard Eli Rosengarten. Number 35, six foot four inch senior Nathan Rotterman. 
and number 40 senior Mason Kemper. And on the other side, the home team, the Bakken's Trojans, coached by Sean Powell. As we dim the lights here for a little mood to get us fired up here for the start of the ball game. Starting guard number three, Elliot Gubo, junior guard. At the other guard spot, number four, number four, Zane Paul, sophomore guard. Get a good shot of Paul running through the student body section there in Bakken's. Number 21, senior forward Spencer Huker, one of four seniors on this Bakken's team. Starting at the other forward position, number 31, senior Josh Madden. starting in the post position. Number 33, senior, Bryce Metz. So as we get set for the opening tip here at Bachmann's, let's quickly go over our keys to the game. For the visiting Fort Laramie Redskins. Moving the basketball, they've improved greatly in that in the last few games. That'll definitely be a, an important part of the game tonight. How well they take the basketball inside against Bodkins. Post presence, definitely a factor here in tonight's game. For the home team, the Bodkins Trojans. Coach Sean Powell likes it up tempo. So how the pace of play goes tonight is going to be important for them. Hot or not, if they're hitting for threes, they can be a very explosive offensive team. 37% from three-point range, 50% from two-point field goal. So they have a very good shooting team. And if they're on, it could be an interesting battle, Greg. All right, here we go. Starting tip is picked up and taken by the Bakken's Trojans. Zane Paul will set it out top for Bakken's. He's picked up by Carter Meshin. Well, Army comes out in their man-to-man -man defense. Good entry there inside the Mets. The senior kicks it back out top to Huker. Huker pump fake in the lane. A runner and knocks it down. Great environment here at Bakken's, and they answer it with an opening bucket on their first possession. Yeah, just the way the introduction of the lineup is tradition here. Great emotion here tonight in this Shelby County Athletic League game. Quick entry inside to Rodman. Shot no good. Bakken's comes down with the rebound. Quickly back the other direction. Again, looking to pound it down inside. Good defense by Fort Army. Reversed back out top to Zane Paul. We see a lot of man-to-man -man by both these teams. Army definitely not afraid to switch it up defensively. A little mishandle there by Metz. Nice drive down the lane as he gathers. Can't get it to go. Rebound ripped down by Rodman for the Redskins. A good couple first two possessions by the Trojans. Alarmy looking to answer as they trail two to nothing here on our first National Bank scoreboard. A good, good loud crowd here at Bakken's as it is deafening in here at the moment. Alarmy trying to get a good open look. There is a three ball by Rosegard off the mark. Rebound pulled down and Meshers flying through the lane. Shot doesn't go. Another rebound by Fort Laramie. Can't get it to go. The third try here is coming by Rodderman. He'll lose the handle but draw the foul. So you talked about the post presence. And Laramie owning it on that possession as they pulled three straight offensive rebounds. Yeah, they tried to, tried to get it inside and 
dominating a little bit on the boards, and that's kind of what we would anticipate. Lotterman, the six foot four inch senior, steps to the line and rattles the first one home to get Larmy on the scoreboard. Second one coming here for Rodman. Tell you what, the Bodkin student body is here tonight. <laughs> yes, they are, at least early we, on. We haven't heard the scream in a while, <laughs> at least I haven't. <laughs> it's Euchre working out top against the Larmy defensive Kemper. Good pass inside to Metz, good pump fake, can't get it to go, but it's two point blank ones the Bakken's had in the last two possessions. They come up empty on both of them. Rodeman swings it over, opposite side, three ball off the mark, rebounded again there though by Fort Larmy and turned over. Here is Zane Paul with the full head of steam. As Dave mentioned earlier, Bakken's definitely liking more of the tempo as they're looking for an open shot. Paul step back, jumper, knocks it down. Well, that's just a big time hit. Under pressure and Paul knocks it home. And he's definitely one of those guys for Bakken's. If he gets a little momentum going, he'll definitely uh, can feed off of that. So here's Larmy back on attack. Good entry pass into Kemper off the glass and in. Nice drive there by Carter Mesher to even up our score at four. Here's Huger. Quick cross court pass. A good entry into Metz. Doesn't get it to go, but draws the foul. Bryce Metz, a senior center, been very active here early on for Bakken's. Yeah, they've been able to get the basketball down him in the block, and uh, so far they've now got to put him on the line, but 0 for 2 so far down low. And that foul was on number 35, Nathan Rodman, just the first foul for Fort Larmy. As Metz first free throw rattles out. Nolan Burney checks in, number 34 for Fort Larmy. As Metz steps to the free throw line, trying to break our tie. Second one is short, and rebounded out of bounds off of Bakken's. Fort Larmy will get the possession. Jacob Plyman will check in for the Bakken's Trojans, a freshman post. Good entry by Fort Larmy. Rosengarten with the pump fake will drive and score. Nice move by Rosengarten, and the Redskins move up court pretty quickly that time. Larmy with the first lead of the ball game at six to four here in quarter number one from Bakken's High School. Trojans looking to answer. Paul got an opening for three, got it. Boy, you just can't give Zane Paul a step. And Larmy really looking to push the tempo here early on. Definitely surprises me a little bit when I was talking about pace of play, I was thinking more of Botkins. Kemper back inside, tough shot off the glass. Good defense there by Plyman, but he got a little bit of the body and draws the foul. That foul's called Bakken's number 21, Spencer Buechner, first and That will send number 40, Mason Kemper, to the free throw line for the Redskins. That one's off the back iron, no good for the six foot four inch senior. Couple substitutions for the Trojans. Number two, Jaden Wendell. Also number 23, Tyler Free. And number five, Jaden Pretty. So a big substitution role there for Bakken. Something we didn't see so much earlier in the season. Nice to see them refresh their body, especially if you want to keep the tempo. Yep. Army misses both free throws. Three new newcomers into the lineup for Botkins. And all experienced with a lot of playing time this season. Here's Pretty working out top, skips it over Tyler Free, and more importantly, they can all shoot. Because as we know, Bakken's likes to get it up and they like to shoot from the perimeter. And as you mentioned in the pregame, if they're on, they're a handful. Pretty working the perimeter, good defense there by Fort Larmy. And now Paul looking for some place to go. Wheels and deals, nice pump fake, the left hand off the glass, no good. Eli Rosengarten, Fort Larmy will pull it down. Rosengarten will set it up. Bakken's in man-to-man -man defense. Larmiel swinging around out top. Here's Burning, thought about the three. Said we'll skip it across court. 
Roderman back out top to Rosengarden. Rosengarden, a nice perimeter shooter. Pulls up, skips out the other way. Here's Burning for three in. And a big answer by Fort Laramie as they take a two point lead. Paul had him opening there for a minute. You know, Larmy knows that he, he can shoot from the perimeter. They've been all out there on him. Nice block by Rosengarden, right on cue. And Larmy quickly forces it ahead. Rosengarden wide open for the eight footer, rattles out. Rebound pulled down by Wendell for the Trojans. Coach Powell discussing his displeasure there as he wants to see that tempo continue. Larmy will get it on the turnover. As Grant Albers checks in for the Redskins. Nolan Burning bringing it up and Bakken's gonna drop into a 1-3-1 zone. Give a little different look here. And it looks like they backed out of it just that quickly. Back into a man-to-man. -man. So trying to disguise, disguise their defense a little bit. Yeah. bit. Swing the other side, here's Mesher. And now back out top to Burning. 220 left to go here, quarter number one. Larmy on top, nine to seven. Nolan Burning with the drive, can't get it to go. And again, another offensive board for Fort Larmy. And Nathan Rodham with the score and a turnover. Quickly, Larmy back on the attack. Albers back out top, Burning thought about it. Rodham in wide open three off the back iron, no good. Boarded by Wendell. Skips it in the far quarter to Pretty. Back out top, three, three ball, in and out. Lamy with the easy rebound will crowd it and bring it back the other way with a four point lead. Swung, Carter Mesher, three ball for Fort Lamy, in and out. Rebound scooped up by Free. This is more of the tempo we expected to see, at least from Bakkins. Swing it around the perimeter, Free thought about the three, instead gets it to Pretty. Back to Free for a three ball, got it. <laughs> Big basket there for the Trojans, brings them back within one. Two out of three from three-point range for uh, the Trojans. Here's Rosengarden with 1.15 left to go, quarter number one. Little pick and roll action with Albers, misses the chippy. Mockins comes away with it, quickly back the other way. Wendell thought about it, gets it up to free, back to Wendell, he'll launch from deep, well off the mark, and it rolls out of bounds to Fort Larmy. Spencer Huger will check back in for Bakken's and for Fort Laramie, number 40, Mason Kemper will check back in. Boy, the pace of this is, <laughs> it's definitely up tempo. And yeah, we lost a little bit of the crowd because I think the tempo's too they fast. They couldn't keep up for them. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan <laughs> Burney setting it up for Fort Laramie. Bakken's back in their man-to-man -man defense. A good pressure out top by Huker. Swung now the far corner, Mesher, nice ball fake, drives the baseline, can't get it to go. It's tipped out though to Rosengarden, he'll pull up in the lane, rattles off no good. And finally, Huker able to rattle down the rebound for Bakkins. Wendell quickly back the other way, free, three ball, in and out. Rebound picked up again by Fort Laramie. Well, Laramie has definitely owned the glass here in the first quarter. As the last 20 seconds wind down here, Laramie out top with a one point advantage. 13 to eight rebounding edge here for Fort Laramie. That's Burning. a lot of rebounds. <laughs> Here's Rosegard, try to get inside, turns it over. Down to five seconds. Here is Spencer Huker, looks up at the clock. Pump fake, shot blocked by Albers. And that is how the first quarter will end here from Bakken's. Fort Laramie 11, Bakken's 10. You're watching high school basketball on NK Telco Sports. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Here's the thing, if you're the kind of guy who eats, sleeps, and breathes farming, 
who gets up at dawn, determined to get the best crop and the best yield, why surrender to the mercy of the water table? Cy Schwederman Incorporated can lower your water table to an average of two to three feet below the surface, allowing you to grow stronger, healthier plants that root deeper, that are more resilient to the elements, that enable longer growing seasons, and can produce higher results in the fields and in your pocket. Trust CSI, your drainage expert since 1946. Welcome back to Bakken's. One quarter in the books and the Fort Lauderdale Redskins with a one point lead. Eli Rosengarden will walk it across the timeline for the Redskins. It was a very active first quarter for both teams. The tempo very quick as they work it around the perimeter. Skipped across the other side. Rodman thought about the three. And Rosengarten did as well, took an extra step. And we'll turn it back over to the Bakken's Trojans. It's only the second turnover for uh, Fort Lormie here in the first quarter plus of play. Freddie brings it up for Bakken's. 7.30 left to go, quarter number two, trailing by one point. Pretty drives the, the uh, sorry, drives the lane and pulls up at the foul line and the jumper and knocks it down. A good opening possession for Bakken's, much like the first quarter. And swinging around the perimeter, here is Rosengarten. Nice ball fakes, gets away from pretty good help defense and Bakken scoops up a potential, another turnover. Alarmy gets it back though in that crazy corral as Eli Rosengarten able to get the bucket to fall. And a tough break there, or maybe not a tough break, maybe not a good decision there by Huger. You just gotta let that one go. Instead commits a foul and that's his second. Now you see it again on the replay. That'll put uh, Rosengarten at the line for a couple. And that'll take Spencer Huker out of the ball game. So they, a big post presence for Bakken's. Zane Paul will check back in as Eli Rosengarten tries to complete the three-point play, and he does. Entering the ball game for Fort Laramie, number 32, Nate Meyer. So both teams are substituting pretty frequently here as Pretty will walk it up for the Trojans as they trail by two. Here's Zane Paul, he'll drive the lane, loses the handle. Gets it out top to Wendell. Took an extra step and will be called for the travel. Number two, Jaden Wendell. So that last turnover was on Elliot Gubo as number two, Jaden Wendell, checks back in the ball game for Bakken's. Here's Larmy bringing it back across. Good defense out top there by Bakken. Overall, defense, both teams, has been pretty solid. Uh, a lot of energy here, though, so far in this ball game. I think Bakken's, uh, their defense has been very, very good, and Fort Lorme has taken some shots away from Bakken's as well. Shot off the mark there by Meyer. Quick rebound by the Trojans. They get up to Tyler Free, spots a three ball and hits. It's two in a row for the sophomore. Puts the Trojans back on top by one, 15 to 14 on our first National Bank scoreboard. The Botkins is just playing with so much more confidence than they did earlier in the year. Step out three there by Burning and he connects. A big answer by the Redskins. And quickly, they get a turnover back there as Mock is trying to get it in off the made basket, turn it back over. It's happened a couple times, a little careless on the inbounds. I think trying to get it up the floor and Larmy well aware has defended that uh, inbounding from the made basket, resulting in a Bakken's turnover. So Burning will trigger it out top. A little high screen and roll action there. Swung back out to Nolan Burning. He'll turn away the screen from Kemper. Skip it to the far side, swinging around the perimeter. Nice entry into Rodderman. And back out to Burning, who will launch the three in and out. And a good box out there by Tyler Free. 
will result in a Fort Laramie foul on number 35, Nathan Rodderman. More substitutes in for Fort Laramie. Hit the 522 mark here in the second quarter. Both teams using a lot of different players. Great. Mesher, uh, Rosengarten, and I believe Albers are all checked back in for Fort Laramie, but you're absolutely right, Dave. Both teams trying to stay fresh here early on. Fight through the storm pretty, almost took an extra step there. Paul gets a little opening, couple pump fakes, gives it back out top to free. Trying to find an opening, Army defense solid as always. Five minutes remaining in the first half. Bakken's pretty, pulls it all the way out to the half court line. They try to create some space. He'll just drop and pull up for three and connect. Wow, ice in the vein there. Pretty spotted that up and buried it. That's right, ice in the vein. Boy, <laughs> Pretty's got five, two for two from the field. He was guarded well there too. It's not like he had a lot of room. Here is Albers looking to answer for Fort Laramie, trailing by one. I think that's been the biggest difference. Zabakin's defense has been impressive. There's yeah, been, not been a lot of openings. Laramie's had to fight a nice move inside there by Kemper and an offensive board by Albers with the finish. Puts the Redskins back on top. Pretty again from deep and oh, he connects. Smoke. 22 feet out and Pretty knocks down another one. And Mockins extends the two. Larmy quickly back the other way. Burning picked up. And finally gets it over to Albers. Albers, tough pass out of bounds. The turnover will give it back to the Trojan. You definitely feel that home court advantage coming back as the Bakken's faith will come to life. You talk about threes here in this second quarter, and Bakken's is four for four. Fort Larmy's got three turnovers, and boy, the Trojans have just capitalized immediately on them. And they've got that two-point lead. There's a turnover, though, coming from Mesher. He's going to drive right down through the lane, knifing it, can't get it to go. Another missed opportunity there for Fort Laramie. Wendell skips it over to Pretty. Ball fake in the lane. Good pass inside to Free. Can't get it to go, but draws the foul. And you hit on it earlier, Dave. The confidence from Bakkins is completely different from what we saw at the beginning of the season. They, they looks like they have a lot more trust in each other. They're moving the ball well. They're getting up and down the floor. There's a lot more players coming in and out, which makes a big difference too. And they all seem to know where everybody's at. Yeah. Good passing. Free throw by Tyler Free is good. He now has seven for the ball game. Nate Meyer checks back in for the Redskins. But by the same token, Fort Lorme is a very, uh, you know, such an established program. For sure. They know how to play defense. They're not going to back down from anything that, that the Trojans are going to throw at them here. Tyler Free connects on the second one, and Bakkins will trigger into a timeout. It's a full one, so we'll take a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment. You're watching High School Basketball on NK Telco Sports. Capped, we use hometown opportunity to make sure that when we have a position open within the facility, it gets put on the website. We've really been excited to see how that has grown so much over the last several years. If anyone is looking for a job, it's the, it's the best place to go. We really want to do whatever we can to get folks that are from this community back to this area. I would recommend any manufacturing company that they take a look at it. It's a very good benefit for companies at no cost. Welcome back to Bakken's High School. We talked about it earlier in the pregame. It's senior night here at Bakken's. And they got four seniors graduating. I'd like to recognize them. Spencer Huker, uh, number 31. I'm sorry, he's number 21. Number 31, Josh Madden. Number 33, uh, Bryce Metz. And number 42, Gage Zimfer. So congratulations to those seniors. We get a chance. We also like to recognize the seniors on the Fort Laramie side as well. Uh, we'll just, you know what, we'll do that right now real quick. Uh, Jake Rodderman, number 21, number 23, Carter Mesher, number 33, Eli Rosengarten, number 35, Nathan Rodderman, number 40, Mason Kemper. And I believe that's it for the Fort Laramie roster. So congratulations to all those seniors for their great careers here, not only in basketball, but all through their high school athletics. As Eli Rosengarten draws the foul, he will step to the free throw line. For one and one is the first one, I'm sorry, for the three point play as the free throw goes down and Larmy is now trailing just by one. 
And a mishandled pass there from Bakkins is gonna be an easy turnover for Fort Laramie with 325 remaining here in quarter number one. So that will give it to the Redskins, number 32, Nate Meyer triggers it in. Laramie looking to regain the lead. They swing it over to the far side to Nolan Burning and skip it far side to Albers. Bakken still in the man-to-man, -man. drive on the other side, off the glass, no good. Rebound scooped up by Albers for Fort Laramie, another offensive rebound. Burning, skips to the far side, Rosengarten open for three, in and out. Rebound pulled down by three for the Trojans. Quickly across half court, here's Paul. Back out top, swings it over, Tyler th for a three, misses the shot. We're gonna have a rebound under the basket. Going against number 31, Josh Madden. My apologies, that's number 35, Jacob Plyman for the Trojans. So that'll be team foul number five for Bakkins. 2.45 left to go in the first half. Burning guarded by Paul. Larmy looking to get something going here. He's done a hot, high screen and roll action. Back over to Albers. The lane is there for him. This little floater goes. And an offensive foul called there by the Trojans. That's a big call here in the late in the second quarter. That is a big foul. That'll go against Grant Albers. Looked like a nice uh, play in the lane. I put a smile on Coach uh, Powell's face. <laughs> Pretty will walk it back across the half court line. He could shoot it from here, you know <laughs> That's that, Greg. Right. He did before. Paul back out to Pretty. Ball fake, foul line jumper, pulls it up what and four. in. Boy, uh, just pretty sure he has a miss. Four for four. In fact, Botkins hasn't missed in the quarter. If my stats are right, which of course <laughs> may be questionable, but I'll make that five out of six. They missed a three there. Here is Rosengarten with the pull-up jumper off the glass and in. Big answer there by Eli Rosengarten. Cuts the lead back to one. Bakkins quickly back on the attack. Tyler Free in the lane. Pump fake. Good defense by Fort Larmy. Blocks it away. Rosengarten with a full head of steam. Crossover. Left hand. Good. A good finish by Eli Rosengarten. Bakkins though. Full steam ahead. Step back. Three ball. Paul in. Big answer as the tempo keeps going here with 1.25 left to go in the half. Bakkins regains the lead by two on our first National Bank scoreboard. Coach Paul Powell, I apologize, Coach Powell liking what he sees, encouraging his Trojan tempo. Skipped back out top, here's Larmy. Rosengarten, ball fake, thought about dumping into Albers, now we'll skip it across court. Meyer. Quick pass inside to Kemper and a good help pick up there by Pretty. Possession arrow we're gonna have go a, to We're gonna have a good conversation here. The top official had a foul. The down official had a jump ball. I believe they're gonna go with a jump ball. Nope, yeah. I take that back. A foul is called against uh, number 40, Mason Kemper. So that will be the fifth foul for Fort Laramie. And more importantly, it saved the possession arrow for Bakkins because it's going their way yet. So they keep the possession arrow and get the ball off the turnover with a two-point lead. This is the fastest paced 28-26 game <laughs> I've ever seen. Feels like it should be like 45-43. That'd be <laughs> pretty, pretty and floated in the lane, misses the shot. The rebound pulled down by Rosengarten. He finally missed. That's what you're coming off the bench and giving your team a lift, <laughs> man. Final 30 seconds of our first half here at Bakken's. It's been a good one. Quick pass inside, Kemper swings it around. Burning with the three ball, knocks it down. He's Big shots of, by both teams. Nolan's three out of four from uh, behind the arc. Final 14 seconds, Paul will pull it out, gives it over to Pretty. Bakken's trailing by one, trying to get that away from Pretty. As Meyer will pick up a quick foul, that'll be foul number six with just over seven seconds remaining here in the first half. 
Bakken's looking to get it in. Better get somebody to the sideline. There's nobody there to enter it in. Finally, Zane Paul realizes it. As the official will give the ball to him, they get over the timeline to Pretty. Down to six. Through the lane. Loses the ball. And an offensive foul called against Jaden Pretty. Had made a nice move in the lane, but just lost the ball. So at 3.3 three seconds remaining till the first half horn, Larmy will have it underneath their own basket. Well, I tell you, every possession is contested. <laughs> Balls end up burning, burning just across the three-point line. Shot at the buzzer, no good. First half in the books, Fort Larmy 29, Bakken's 28. We'll be back after these messages. You're watching High School Basketball on NK Telco Sports. Schwiedemann Pharmacies began serving the people of Auglaise County in 1916 when Urban Schwiedemann purchased the building and business from J.H. Hoffman. The New Bremen location is one of the longest running pharmacies in the country, with over 110 years of serving its patrons. Since then, four more stores have been added, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Minster, and Wapakoneta to round out the group. Our services include prescription refills, home medical equipment, nursing home services, customized compounded medication, vaccinations, and so much more. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory, so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. K Telco Sports. More than 140 local high school and college games. Football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer. Support your local team with NK Telco Sports and promote your business to 250,000 households in Northwest Ohio. Call 1 888 NK Telco and get in the game. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge-free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Welcome back to Bakken's. We're here at halftime where the Fort Lauderdale Redskins are on top 29 to 28. With our first half stats, Mr. Dave Helmstetter. Now take a look at the numbers for tonight's game. Uh, you look at Bakken's, they're down by a point. Well, you take a look at the threes and uh, the Trojans, six out of 10. Their big stat for the night, 11 out of 27 for Fort Lauderdale from the field. Three out of 11 for threes, four out of six at the line. Winning the battle on the boards, 21 to 14. Turnovers, Botkins has the unfortunate edge there at seven to four. So Trojans also 10 over 21 from the field. But that three point stat by the Trojans is what makes this game very interesting. And Jaden Pretty, 10 points off the bench there in the second quarter. Greg and that really got the crowd into it and kept Botkins close. And this has just been an extremely intense yeah. game. Yeah, it's been a good game. A lot of fun to watch. Crowd's been involved, like you said. A lot of up and down. Larmy missed some good opportunities there in the first half on some offensive rebounds and putbacks. Uh, as you mentioned, Bakken shot the ball well. Uh, and we got a good game and just a one point lead as we get set here for the third quarter. And the Trojans will start with the ball as Zane Paul will bring it across. Larmy staying in the man-to-man. -man. They swing it out top to Plyman. Back to Paul, trying to find an opening, skips it over to the corner. To Madden, the ball's turned over there, and Larmy scoops it up again. Seems like it, that's when Bakken's definitely struggles a little bit more, trying to set that half-court offense up. So here's Larmy, back out top 
Eli Rosengarten all day and knocks Whoa. it down. Too much time for that good a shooter. He's come a long way with his outside shooting this season. Nice spin in the lane. Zane Paul, quick answer. Alarmy lead at 2, 32 to 30. Paul's into double figures with 10 points. Army again running the high screen and roll. They skip it across. Rosengarten again open and again. Well, how do you lose a guy like that? I don't know. That's two straight wide open threes. And he made Bakken's pay for both of them. Good pass inside here to Plyman as he fights. Shot blocked by Fort Larmy. They quickly push it back the other way. Rosengarten, the hot hand here to start the third quarter for Fort Larmy. Mesher skips it over. Here's Rotterman, three ball. In and out, Mesher with the board as it's knocked out of bounds off of Bakken's. It will stay with the Redskins. Ratterman had a great look too and shot just didn't fall. And yeah, we talked about how good Bakken's defense was in the first half. You didn't see many of those open looks like that for Fort Army. They've gotten three or four already here in the third quarter, 6.30 to go in the third. Rosengarten, good close out there by Madden. As he drives tough fadeaway and knocks it down. That's a heck of an offensive shot. Three for three. By Rosengarten. Five straight shots by Rosengarten that have found the net. That was a money play, Greg. Big possession here. Bakken's down by seven. Tough pass inside and on the end line as they step out of bounds and turn it over again. This is, this is what Larmy typically does. They get a lot of pressure up on you, make you make a tough pass and turn it over. Bakken's going to have to look for an answer here as they're digging into a deep hole at down seven already. Well, I tell you, just very impressed in the second half in the early going here with Fort Lormy. They're getting good shots, good looks. They're making the shot, but they're and they're moving the basketball well. A couple quick substitutions for the Trojans. Pretty, free, and number two, Jaden Wendell all check back in for Bakken's. Here is Eli Rosengard who is on fire to start the third quarter. Knocks down another one as Larmy's lead is now nine. Kick out, swung around the perimeter, and Tyler Free loses the handle and the focus for Bakken's. They down in a big hole here, and in a danger Rosen. zone here for the Trojans. Three straight turnovers by the Trojans, and they got to stop Eli Rosengarten. He's got 22 already. He's gotten uh, 10 points here in just the First, what, three minutes of the he might second have, half? Say he, he, had he not lost the ball there, he might have had another one. That one off the mark, pulled down by Pretty. So a defensive stop by Bakken's badly needed. Here's Wendell, steps into a three and knocks it down. Jaden Wendell with a big answer. Cuts the lead back to six. Here's Mesher, wheels around the defense, brings it back out top. Skips it over to Rosengarten. Far side and high screen. There for number 21, Rotterman. And now back out top to Rosengarten. Bakken struggled here in the third quarter with that high screen and roll. They handled it so well in the first half. Almost a turnover there by Fort Lorme. Rotterman throws it inside to Kemper. Good help defense, skipped over to Mesher. He'll drive the lane and draw the contact and the bucket. Big finish, Carter Mesher. He'll go to the line to complete, a, try to complete a three-point play. Five out of seven, Fort Lormy here in the third quarter, but they're being so aggressive, just taking that ball to the hoop, and they're hitting the shot here in the third quarter. As you see it there on the on the replay, nice shot off the glass, draws the foul. Number 32, Nate Meyer will check in for the Redskins. We get a good shot of Carter Mesher there, stepping the line. Try and complete the old fashioned three point play, and he does. Nolan Burning will check back in for Fort Army in a solid first half. And coming in for Bakken's is number 21, Huker, who got into foul trouble early in the first half. Picked up two quick ones and sat most of the, the second quarter for Bakken's. Here is the aforementioned Huker. Over to Pretty. Huger working against Rodderman, tries to skip it across court, and it's picked off by Kemper, another Bakken's turnover. Oh, 
Burning looking for an opening, picked up out top by Huker. Skips it over to Rodden, or I'm sorry, Rosengarten, and now back out to Burning. Roll there by Rodman, picked up nicely by Bakkins, and a nice recovery there, Wendell, to close out on Rosengarten. This is more like the defense we saw from Bakkins in the first half. They just fell asleep, and there's a turnover as a result. They fell asleep, it felt like, early start this third quarter, and Larmy took advantage. Yeah, about a four minute lull there, and boy, I tell you, Fort Larmy just lit it up, and that's how they got their nine point lead. First turnover, Fort Larmy, here in the second half. On the other hand, Botkins has had four turnovers in really basically about five possessions. Pretty with the nice drive down the lane off the glass and in, and that was pretty. Oh, it was by that pretty? Pretty. <laughs> Prettiest shot of the night. That was bad, and we'll do that again. <laughs> nice finish, Botkins. Sure. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> Trojans back on D. Here is Rosengarten having a great evening. Shooting the ball very well for the Redskins. Rodman on the roll, off the glass, can't get it to go. Fighting with Huker, it'll be out of bounds off of Huker and stay with Fort Laramie. Officials gonna have a talk about that one. As the up official changes the call on that, so break there for the Trojans. Coach Britton not real happy with that call. And can't say you're ever gonna be happy when it gets changed the other way. Three minutes to go in quarter number three. Botkins down by seven. Well, if Botkins can score on this possession, you know, that, that lead was, you know, teetering into double figures. Nice move in the lane by Huker. Can't get it to go. Nolan Burning comes down with the board. Kicks it out top to Meyer. It skips it almost out of the outstretched hands of a long reach Nathan Rodderman. Botkins trying to extend their defense. Burning thought about shooting it over Paul. Instead, we'll back it out. Nice wheel in the lane. Oh, and a great pass over to Albers. And a fantastic unselfish play there by Nolan Burning. Gets the easy two. That's the right word. Very unselfish play. And You know, you thought maybe Fort Lormer was going to pull it out a little bit. Well, they did. They get the easy shot off of it. Three ball in the corner by Wendell. No good. Eli Rosengarten high up for the rebound. Quickly gets it ahead to Albers. Skips it to the bounce pass down the lane. Good recovery defense by Bacchus. Three ball, Rosengarten counted. Boy, you leave him open there and it's in tonight. And he is on all cylinders and that will lead to a Bacchus timeout. We'll take a break as well. You're watching high school basketball on NK Telco Sports. Minster Dental Care continues to offer advanced dental technology in a state-of-the-art facility. Our professional team offers experience in general dentistry and orthodontics, including services such as SARA and wireline orthodontics. Board-certified pediatric dentist Dr. Philip Slonkowski ensures our littlest patients have a positive, safe, and a comfortable experience. We are unconditionally committed to excellence in everything we do. The big game is right around the corner. Are you ready for it? Come into Francis Furniture and find the right fit for you and your friends in our Lazy Boy Comfort Studio. With Lazy Boy Premier Sofa and Sectionals, you can custom order a look that's just your style. Choose from hundreds of decorator fabrics or choose genuine leather for its luxurious feel and durability. Come into Francis Furniture today, the area's only Lazy Boy Comfort Studio. Welcome back to Fort Laramie. I'm sorry, welcome back to Bakken's. We're here in the third quarter, minute 50 remaining as the Fort Laramie Redskins went on a big run to go up by 12. Bakken's looking for an answer. Huker with a tough runner in the lane gets it to go. Clutch shot by the senior and Trojans needed that one. Isn't it amazing how well Fort Laramie is playing here in the third quarter? They've really done a nice job. Got away with probably an extra step there. I should say how much better they're playing. It's not like they were playing poorly in the first half. It's been a just a terrific basketball game. Here's Rosengarten, passes it inside, now back out top to Rosengarten. Bakken staying in there man to man. Albers looking for an opening. Good pass inside to Kemper. Can get it to go. Kemper though able to pull down the rebound. 
And a quick timeout called by Fort Laramie. It's the 32nd one. We'll just keep it right here. I'd like to thank our sponsors for tonight's action. Wilson Health, Caring Without Limits, Precision Ship, NKT.TV, BowlerStore.com, Find the Pocket Without Emptying Yours, Carriage Works, Specializing in Collision Repair in St. Henry, Ohio, Cy Swederman, Fowler's TV, We Service What We Sell, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, A Name You Know, A Name You Trust, PSG Automotive Outfitters, Minster Bank, Financial Solutions for a Lifetime, Swederman Pharmacy, pharmacies located in Salina, Coldwater, Minster, New Bremen, St. Mary's, and Wapong. New Knoxville Supply, Minster Dental Care, Francis Furniture, and our Keys of the Game sponsor, Keyhole Pizza. We'd also like to mention our Player of the Game sponsors, NK Telco. Dave and I will be naming a Player of the Game at the conclusion of this game. Thanks again to all those great sponsors for providing tonight's action. Back to live action, here is a three ball from a substitution that just came in, Caleb Meyer for Fort Larmy off the mark, but Larmy again with another offensive rebound. Caleb seconds. Meyer had 15 points in the JV game, a, a Fort Larmy win, by the way. Swung back out top here to Rosengarten, 30 seconds remaining here in the first half. Larmy trying to wind it down, see if they can get just one. As they swing it back out top to Burning. Here's Burning, guarded by Pretty. Skips it out top to Meyer. Meyer drives the lane, jumper blocked by number 35, Plyman. An opportunity for Bakken's three ball, got it. Wendell, down the last two seconds of the half, Rosengarten with a heave, he almost gets it to go off the iron, and that's how quarter number three will end. Fort Laramie 47, Bakken's 40. You're watching high school basketball on NK Telco Sports. At Wilson Health, we're extending care beyond the walls of the hospital with resources designed to keep you in charge of your health. Our independence and connection to the community are unique in a world where big health care strives to act like corporations. Our tools may be the same, but we are different. We're neighbors, friends, and family who truly care about the people who live here. We call it caring without limits. And it's just the beginning of a whole new Wilson Health. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip. Doing the exceptional. Welcome back to Bakken. You get a great shot of the NK Telco t-shirts for tonight's ball game as the fourth quarter just about to get underway. An exciting third quarter. Larmy came out on all cylinders. It's Eli Rosengarten, our leading scorer, now has 25 for four Larmy. And they will start with the ball with a seven point advantage. Rosengarten again open, passes on that one. Sid swings it back out top. Here is Mesher guarded by Pretty. Skip across, ball tipped and falls right into Albers' hands. A big chance, or I should say break there for for Larmy. It looked like it was gonna be a turnover and it fell in the right place at the right time. Larmy stays with a nine point advantage. Here's Pretty, over to Paul. Back out top to Webker, spin move in the lane, picked up nicely by Albers. Skipped over far corner, three ball on the way, short. Rebound grabbed by Rosengarden for the Redskins. Larmy out top, almost get a deflection there from Plyman. Trying to bring a little more pressure here against Fort Larmy, trailing by nine. Rosengarten bumped a little too much there by Madden, and Josh Madden will pick up the foul. 
Just the second team foul here in the second half. Larmy has zero team fouls. Bakken's just their second. Fort Larmy, nine point lead, 6.41 to go. They can be, they can work for that shot and get the open man who in the third quarter, it was Eli Rosengarten. Nice pass inside to Kemper. Good recovery by Pretty as he blocks the shot. Boy, you thought Fort Laramie had an easy one. Give credit to the Botkins defender for some great defense. It'll be Carter Mesher triggering in for Fort Laramie. Dangerous pass there. Eli Rosengarten, three ball off the mark. Rebound pulled down by Plyman for the Trojans. Gives it up to Pretty. Pretty quickly gets it across. Back out top, Pretty thought about three quick close out there by Mesher, remembers that first half. Pretty knocked down some nice jumpers. Ball fake there, drives right down the lane. The scoop does not go. And a good board there by Rodman, 4-4 Larmy. Double dribble called by Fort Larmy. So that turnover will give it back to the Trojans. Trailing by nine, just under six minutes remaining in the ball game. Plyman triggers it in to get a great shot of the student body there for the Bakken's Trojans, cheering on their team. Paul trying to create some space and a good defensive possession again by Fort Larmy. They come up with another turnover. So back to work on offense. Here's Mesher. Mesher colliding with Huger. No call. Skipped over wide open. Eli Rosengarten in and out. The flame has settled down a little bit for Rosengarten because he was white hot last quarter. Block shot, or I should say short shot there by Plyman. Scooped up by Huger for the easy two. Big bucket for the Trojans. They now trail by seven. Rosengarden will bring it across. Guarded by Madden. Larmy running a lot of high screen and roll play. Rodman loses the handle momentarily. A little fadeaway jump shot knocks it down. Larmy just able to answer every time Bakkins has made a run. And another big bucket there. Nice shot by Ratterman too. Paul, no space there. Gets it back. Wants to find an open for a three. Good D. Wendell, he'll let the three ball go and knock it down. Good setup there from Zane Paul. Three out of four by Wendell here in the second half. Fort Laramie's done a pretty good job defensively of taking that away from Botkins until that shot. So Laramie back on the attack. Ball loose on the floor. And it's still loose. Scrambling all over. Jump ball called, we'll give it back to Bakken. So big possession there, Bakken's trailing by six. 51-45 on our first National Bank scoreboard. Their second rotation checking back in, which is pretty uh, free. And uh, number two, Jason Wendell. Actually, Wendell's been in the ball game. But along with them will be Plyman on the floor and also Zane Paul on the floor for the Redskins. Number 34, Nolan Burning. 35, Rodderman. Number 40, Kemper, 21, uh, Jake Rodderman, and 33, Eli Rosengarten. Four minutes remaining in our ball game. And what a good one it has been here from Bakken's High School. Tyler Free with a lot of defense, can't get it to go. And Kemper will come down with the big board for Fort Laramie. Pretty picking up full court against Burning. Swings it over to Rosengarten. Back out top. Hawkins trying to force a turnover. 3.30 remaining. Larmy being extremely patient. Murray thought about the three. Skips it over the other side. Kemper back out top to Rosengarten. Rosengarten jumper on the baseline. Doesn't fall but draws the foul. You keep thinking, you go, should you take that three right now? It's a six point lead, yep. or should you be patient, go inside, get that advantage that you'll have when you get when you drive inside. Rosengarden steps to the free throw line and knocks down the first. 
Mock in substitution, number 20, 21, Spencer Huker checks back in the ball game. As Rosengarten eyes the second one and misses long, but Roderman able to track it down for for Larmy. So just over three minutes remaining, Larmy now at the seven point advantage and they get a wide open backdoor cut to Nathan Roderman, which will lead us to a timeout by Bakken's. It is a 30 second. We'll take a quick break and be right back. You're watching High School Basketball on NKTL Go Sports. Brand presence is everything. Is it time to create a video that promotes your business? NK Telco has the solution with NKT Productions. NKT Productions can create a national caliber commercial or video specifically to your business needs and demographics. Utilize NK Telco ad insertion and your video is made available to 6,000 plus subscribers in eight local communities on 23 major networks. Take advantage of the overwhelming traffic that video gets. Visit nktelco.net for more information. Welcome back to Bakken's High School. Three minutes remaining in the ball game. Bakken's now trailing by nine, Dave. A lot of tough sledding here. They're gonna have to have a lot of things go their way, get some pressure, some big buckets. Not impossible, but it's gonna be tough. They're gonna really have to make some big plays. Fort Laramie's just played very smart offensively. They've taken their time, they've been patient, they've got the good shot. Rosen Gardens had the hot hand here in the second half, and that's one of the differences in this game. Pretty with the tough shot off the glass. Gets it to fall, cuts the lead back to seven. Bart Burning brings it up against the pressure. As they swing it around the perimeter. Albers, runner in the lane, off the glass and in. Big shot there by number 30, Grant Albers. And an answer for Fort Laramie. Tyler Free thought about the three ball, instead throws up the runner, no good. Rebound pulled down Mason Kemper for Larmy. 2.15 remaining. Larmy with a nine point advantage. Burning picked up his dribble. Rodman thought about the three. Larmy just working on spacing out the floor. Talk at two minutes. Pretty just misses one there. Larmy able to retain. Swing it back out top or under two to play. Botkins has three fouls. Nice pass inside to Kemper. And again, an easy bucket for Fort Larmy as they execute their offense to a tee and push the lead back to 11. Pretty out top, running the offense, a minute 30. You get a foul out top. So just the first foul. Minute 28 remaining in the ball game. Wow. And that is Larmy's first foul of the second half. And Bakken's not far behind. They only have three. 128 to go, an 11 point lead for Fort Laramie, too. Here's Huker with the ball. Good defense again by Fort Laramie, as by Nathan Rodderman. And a quick timeout called by Coach. Britain will keep it right here. And to remind everyone that you can watch replays of NK Telco Sports. The proud to, and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of high school varsity basketball on NK Telco Channel 3 or in HD on Channel 503. Tonight's game will be played again at 11 o'clock and also on Sunday, February 17th at 2 p.m. You can also watch these games on WOSN On Demand or on the NK Telco Sports Facebook page. You can find the schedule and also on nktelco.net. So Dave, 11 point lead here for Larmy. They've played very well, as you mentioned here in the second half. Uh, really, they've just executed on both sides of the ball. Defense has been solid as it was in the first half. And now they've started to execute their offense a little better. And uh, Bakken's in quite the hole here with a minute 20 to go. Yeah, Fort Laramie is a team that's gradually improving. They're getting better, making that push towards the tournament. And, uh, you know, they just have the players that, uh, that can do some damage. The defense there by Botkins able to tip that one out of bounds. And I'll tell you, Botkins, though, 
as you've you know we saw them several times earlier in the year they are definitely uh, improving as well and it'll be interesting to see what they do in their final uh, final game in the next 24 hours and what they do in tournament Larmy swings it back out top very patient down under a minute and they can do this very well Fort Laramie pulls it out. We uses that clock just a little bit. We're under a minute to go in this one. So that's only the fourth team foul for Bakkins. So they're looking to get any, in any kind of bonus situation. They got to foul three more times. And they put a lot of pressure on Bernie and do just that. That foul will be on number three, Elliot Gubo. And now the fifth team foul for Bakkins. This Caleb Meyer will check back in for Fort Laramie, number 52. Bernie triggers it into Kemper. He'll be fouled now with 46 seconds remaining in the ball game. That'll be foul number six. So one more foul will put the Redskins in the bonus. Burning again to trigger it in. Gets it to Rodman, who is immediately fouled by Madden. That will send number 35, Nathan Rodman, to the free throw line for a one and one. Couple substitutions for Bakken's number two, Jaden Wendell, and number 23, Tyler Free, check back in the ballgame. Free throw, no good by Rodman. Rebounded by Plyman. Quickly back the other way is Pretty. Tough runner in the lane, doesn't go. Rebounded by Meyer. Almost puts it in the Bakken's baskets. Rebounded by Tyler Paul. He gets the two pointer. I'm sorry, Zane Paul. Cuts the Bakken's lead to nine. And a quick 30 second timeout. I'd like to once again thank our sponsors for tonight's action. Wilson Health, Caring Without Limits, Precision Strip, NKT.TV, BowlerStore.com, Find the Pocket Without Emptying Yours, Carriage Works, Specializing in Collision Repair in St. Henry, Ohio, Cy Sweeterman, Fowler's TV, We Service What We Sell, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, A Name You Know, A Name You Trust, PSG Automotive Outfitters, Minster Bank, Financial Solutions for a Lifetime, Sweetman Pharmacy, pharmacies located in Salina, Coldwater, Minster, New Bremen, St. Mary's, and Wapak, New Knoxville Supply, Minster Dental Care, and Francis Furniture. I have to remind everyone at the conclusion of the game, Dave and I will name a player of the game, and that player of the game is sponsored by NK Telco. Thanks again to all those great sponsors for tonight's action. So 31 seconds remaining, Larmy with the ball and a nine point advantage. Triggering in under the Bakken's basket. Mesher comes up, gets that relatively easy. Bakken's looking to press, swings it over to Meyer and now back cross court to Rosengarden. Rosengarden fouled with 23 seconds remaining so he will step to the free throw line for a one and one. A host of substitutions come back in, a little offense, defense for Coach Powell's Trojans. So Rosengarden having a solid night here with 26 points, leads all scores in the ball game. A good shot at Eli there at the free throw line. First free throw is good. Second free throw by Eli on its way is good as well. So Bakken's pushes the lead back to, I'm sorry, Larmy pushes the lead back to 11. Bakken's shot no good. Rebounded by Rosengarden with 15 on the clock and quickly pushed ahead to Kemper, now down at 11. And winding down the final 10 seconds, the Redskins gonna be victorious here as 
Mesher is trapped out at the half court line and then finally tosses it away as a five second call called against Fort Laramie with 2.1 2. Seconds, <laughs> seconds remaining in our ball game. Bakken's will trigger it in for a Zane Paul three mm. off the mark. And that will do it here from Bakken's. The Fort Laramie Redskins 60, Bakken's 49. We'll take a quick break and be back with our post game wrap up. You're watching high school basketball on NK Telco Sports. Our 1,500 square foot showroom and pro shop at BowlerStore.com is stocked with bowling balls, bags, shoes, accessories, and apparel. The pro shop is equipped with two drill presses, measuring devices, and bowling ball maintenance machines to keep your ball rolling great. We offer private lessons for individuals and groups. Moxie's extra pair inside BowlerStore.com is also available to rent for private events. Be sure to check out BowlerStore.com or visit our pro shop in Versailles, Ohio for all your bowling product needs. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Take your game day party to the next level with a new TV and Sono sound system from Fowler's TV in St. Mary's. A Sono sound system takes all the action into every room of your home and outdoors. Break your home into zones and control the content and level right from your phone or tablet, enabling you to enjoy the game or not with the touch of a finger. Add a security camera system connected to your TV from Fowler's and never leave another friend stuck outside in the cold. Fowler's TV, taking game day to the next level. Welcome back to Bakken's, the final score, Fort Laramie 60, Bakken's 49 with our final stats, Mr. Dave Helmstetter. Taking a look at the numbers for, uh, for Bakken's, they were 19 out of 44 for 39% from the field, 9 out of 18 at the line, and uh, 9 out of 18 from three-point land and 2 out of 4 at the line. They uh, were out uh, rebounded. Fort Laramie had the edge on the boards at 33 to 22 turnovers in the second half, especially Botkins had 15 and uh, Fort Laramie for the game had 10 and uh, Redskins come up with a nice win here tonight. Greg a hard fought intense basketball game. Yeah, it was a one point ball game. If you remember back at halftime and uh, Laramie really came out with the, the better intensity to start the third quarter. Eli Rosengarten scored in a big way in the third quarter and it really Bakken's never recovered from that point on and got too far behind. Uh, Larmy did a nice job both sides of the ball as well. Bakken's good, good overall game, just not enough here tonight as they fall to the Redskins. Let's talk about our player of the game for tonight's ball game. No uh, doubt that's Eli Rosengarten. He finished with 28 points and boy, as you said, he started the second half and that got Fort Laramie the difference in the game his shooting ability and then of course the Redskins just played some very very good defense on Botkins for the remainder of the game took a lot of those threes that Botkins liked to shoot away from him made the points tough in the second half for the Trojans. Couldn't have said it better. Larmy again nice job good job congratulations to Eli Rosengarten and again Larmy victorious 60 to 49 that's going to do it for us here tonight I'd like to thank our director Bryce Hamrick his assistant John Quellhorst, our camera people, Josh Miller, Mark Fizell, and Ian Bullheimer. My partner, Dave Helmstetter. I'm Greg Burning. Thanks for watching and have a great day.